As just one of over 70 species of antelope found in Africa, it is easy to see why sometimes the Geronook isn't the most well-known of species, yet in some ways it is one of the most unusual animals found on the continent. One of these unique features is their long giraffe-like neck, which is distinctive among gazelles. From this feature, Geronooks get one of their common names, as Geronook translates roughly from Somali as giraffe-necked, and often leads to the species being called the giraffe gazelle. Another one of the common names that the species uses relates to its scientific name, Lysocranius wallery. The Geronook got this name after Gerald Waller asked the first describer of the species, Victor Brook, to name the animal after his late brother. The Geronook is part of the subfamily Antilopinae, making them closely related to gazelles and species such as the Dibitag and Springbok. Their preference for eating the foliage of trees such as acacia means they depend on an abundance of bushes and small trees in open areas, avoiding dense thickets. The widespread nature of this habitat has led to the Geronook ranging from Ethiopia and Somalia south to Tanzania. However, their range has reduced as their population used to spread as far north as Egypt and northeastern Sudan. Another distinctive trait of the Geronook is how they forage, as they're the only antelope that can stand unaided on two legs. This technique allows them to take advantage of the high branches of their favoured plants, sometimes up to eight feet off the ground. In some regions, this means their only competition for food is giraffes. Their leafy diet also means the Geronook get all their moisture they need from what they eat and therefore don't need to drink. There are a few easy ways to tell between male and female Geronooks. The first is that only the males have horns. Males also have a more muscular neck and are typically heavier on average. Males are known to be territorial and use glands in front of their eyes to scent twigs with a tar-like secretion. They also use glands on their knees and between their split hooves to put their scent on the ground. Usually, the males have a home range spreading across many kilometres squared, but between these male home ranges is often a piece of land which doesn't belong to any male. Occasionally, when males have newly left their mothers, they will form small bachelor groups until they are old enough to defend territories of their own. As their home ranges overlap, females often gather in groups, which may number up to 12 individuals, but groups of up to 6 are more common. These females may also have multiple calves of different ages, as female calves stay with their mothers for about a year and males may remain close for up to 18 months. The mother will have carried these calves for up to 7 months, with most calves being born during the rainy season, but after birth the calf must remain hidden for 7 weeks before they are strong enough to join their mother and escape threats. If these calves escape all the perils of life, they may wander the wilds of Africa for up to 12 years. Surprisingly for a prey species found in open habitats, the Geronook's first reaction to a threat isn't to run. Running costs the animal water, and to a Geronook who doesn't drink and lives in a dry environment, every drop of water is precious. Freezing at the sight of potential danger is a behaviour more commonly seen in forest antelope, who can easily camouflage into the dense forest understory. When they decide an escape would be their best option, they rarely run, preferring to stop. Stotting is where the animal will hold its legs in a stiff position while lifting all feet off the ground simultaneously. If this is not enough to escape a potential predator, such as a cheetah, their only option is to run. However, even when they do run, they are relatively slow compared to their closest relatives, with a top speed of around 30 miles per hour. Geronooks are a crucial part of the food chain, as they are often prey for lions, honey badgers, wild dogs and even eagles. They also often provide a food source for people and are often hunted for bushmeat. On top of providing a direct source of food for local people, they also supply a source of income as tourists come to hunt Geronooks for trophies. Like many species, the Geronooks face threats from habitat loss. Habitat loss is fragmenting their population, which can cause problems of gene exchange. A lack of gene exchange can cause individuals to be more susceptible to disease. All of this has led to the Geronook population decreasing, but the species is only classified as near-threatened, as their population currently stands at around 95,000. Thanks for watching this species profile. If you enjoyed, remember to like and subscribe, and click that notification bell if you want more videos like this.